So right now, what we need to do is to configure the uh, hybrid Azure AD join. So if you have conf successfully configured and installed the Azure AD Connect, so you just double click on the Azure AD Connect from your desktop, from the, from the shortcut on your, um, on your desktop, and then it will bring you to this um, screen, which says, welcome to Azure AD Connect. So you need to click configure. Here in configure, we are actually interested in the configure device options. So it says, use this task to configure device op uh, options. So uh, device registration. So just click your device, configure device options and click next. And here it says, uh, with us device management in Azure either you can ensure that users are accessing your resources from devices. So click next. So here I'm going to enter my password from my Office 365 admin credentials. So enter your, the right password and click next. So it's connecting to Microsoft online to verify if your credentials are right or not. So here we're going to actually select the configure hybrid Azure AD join. So which means that if your device from your on-premises device can actually be joined to Azure Active Directory and as well we can actually configure a group policy which will join that device automatically to Microsoft Intune. So you click select the configure hybrid Azure AD join and click next. And here we're going to say, okay, what devices do we want to support? So I'm going to, I'm going to select the Windows 10 or later domain joint devices, or you can as well select supported Windows down, down level. But I don't want to say, I just only want to support Windows 10 because I know all my devices in my environment are Windows 10 operating system. So click next. So here I'm going to select just the, for the only forest I have, which is my domain name. And here I'm going to select Azure Active Directory. And here I'm going to enterprise, you need an enterprise um, login name or an enterprise account that you should be able to configure your SCP configuration. So you just click add here yeah, and enter the domain and you enter your domain name and then enter your password. So click OK. And you can see that the name is properly configured and the password is correct. So click Next. So here it says, once you click Configure, we will do the following. Configure the SAP for device registration in this domain name. So click Configure. So it's going to verify with Azure Active Directory and just configure the necessary configuration. It says the task to configure hybrid Azure are they joined completed successfully. So right now, all your device will actually synchronize to your um, to Azure Active Directory, and also we, we should be able to actually configure a group policy which can which we should make sure that every single device in our environment should be joined to Microsoft Intune automatically without the user or anyone doing that manual manually. So I just click S8. And also what we also need to do again, we need to actually force the synchronization between your Azure AD Connect on premises and also in the cloud. So I'm going to do that using PowerShell. So what we need to do, first of all, uh, let me just, we need to start PowerShell as an administrator. So let me just see more and then start to run as administrator. So after starting PowerShell as an administrator, so what we need to do is we need to enter, we need to just type the following command actually to actually sync the uh, Azure AD Connect from on-premises to the cloud. So you type the following start um, Azure AD sync, sync sync cycle, yes. And then we have to do a policy type. I think we have the option to actually do Delta, which is just to sync actually all changes that have been made or initial to just synchronize all everything um, that we have configured to the cloud. So right now, just click enter. So it's going to take some time. And please don't forget to actually start your PowerShell as an administrator. If not, you're going to receive an error message that you don't have the privilege to do that. You can see it says success. So it means it will take some time and after some like, I think 30, within within now and some 30 minutes or within now some minutes, all the sync, you should go to your Office 365 and should be able to see that Azure Active Directory is being synced with your, um, your on-premises devices. 
So if I go to my um, um, Azure, to my um, Azure um, AD portal in Office 365, here you can see I just you have to go to Azure Active Directory and you go to Azure AD Connect. And here you can see that my status says that my Azure AD Connect is being synced, it's enabled, and the password hash also is being synced, so it's enabled, and it's less than one hour ago. So let me see if my user's account, which as you can see, that my account is being synced from Office three for my uh, on-premises domain. Here you can see. Uh, let me see. Directory synced. Yes, yes. So this and this are being synced from my on-premises environment. And as well, if I go to my Office 365 Admin Center, you can see that under my accounts, my user's name as well is being synced as well. So my name is Kelvin Johnson. This is how you actually configure a hybrid. Um, Azure Active Direct Directory, and also how do you configure your Azure AD Connect in your on-premises environment to sync with Office 365 and Azure Active Directory. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for my IT-related video. And if you think this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to hit the like button and also leave a comment or send me an email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. I'm also going to leave my Instagram um, account link below so you can actually um, join me on Instagram for more IT related video and IT news. So thank you very much and hope to see you next time.